Ah, let's do this. So I don't, as you know, like I said, I didn't take any peeks. So I don't know who the professors are. I don't know who the headmaster is. I'm just ready to just meet everybody for the first time. It's sort of like oh, reading good. the books for the first time. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Ooh, we've got a little bit of a I'm no expert, lag here. That seems more appropriate. Now, oh, nice. I need to study this locket as soon as I can. But first, I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. But can Thank I you. trust Professor Fig? Ready for the sorting ceremony? Why do I have a sinking feeling that Professor Fig may end up being a traitor? But we'll see. I don't know. Oh, that must be the headmaster and Professor Weasley. Ooh, headmaster's looking pretty... Headmaster is, is, is pretty daddy. Not gonna lie, he's pretty daddy. I'm a fan. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Oh. Prepare yourself. That's Phineas Nigellus Black. Headmaster. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Fig! Nice of you to join us. The sorting settlement is over. There were but complications. But complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Uh, this is, does not if set me up lucky, for success. Might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I don't want to end up on the wrong foot with the headmaster. <clears throat> this is not good. I'll be in touch. It's not my fault. Thank you, Professor Fig. Bye. Hi, I'm late. Yeah, I'm that person. Everybody's in their houses. Now I have to figure out which one am I going to be in. As a fifth year student. Fifth year. Professor hey, look, he Weasley. looks like Harry Potter. We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ooh, look at I see some of the professors behind me. This is really cool. I really love how it's the same. Obviously, it's the same castle, but different time, which means different people. Oh, I'm really excited to see how they do this. Ah, how they do the sorting. Yeah. It's a bit older than the others, aren't you? You're very perceptive, you aren't you? With preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I have a preference for boys. That's true. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I'm a, I was a bit of a studious per person. I'm glad I'm finally starting to get like dialogue choices. I, I was a bit of a studious person. I'm looking person. forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you Wow, he already knows that. Ravenclaw. Perhaps. The sorting ceremony. The sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Ravenclaw. House no a Ravenclaw house known for intelligence, creative, and wit. Now, this is really cool because I think that um, you can connect this game with the sorting that happened to you in Pottermore. So, I do believe that if you didn't connect to Pottermore, what used to be Pottermore, it's called something else now, like the Harry Potter fan club or something, or Wizarding World fan club, I believe that you do go through a very similar process um, where they ask you all these different questions just like they do in Pottermore. I presume it might even be the exact same like engine. It might even be the exact same set of questions on Pottermore itself um, and it'll decide like which house you want to be in. However, ultimately, you, despite you know me being sorted into Ravenclaw, because um, for the record, I do identify as a raven puff i i feel like um officially if 
if I were to get sorted officially, um, I think I'm a Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw pretty through and through with a lot of Hufflepuff tendencies. So, um, hence why I, I consider myself a Ravenpuff. That being said, even though in real life I see myself as Ravenclaw or Ravenpuff, um, for the purposes of this Let's Play and for the purposes of this game, I really am super curious as much as I would love to fully roleplay myself as myself 100%, in which case I would go all in Ravenclaw. However, just for the purposes of this game and this Let's Play, I am s extremely curious and intrigued by the thought of roleplaying a light-aligned Slytherin. Because I always had a soft spot for Slytherin. I, I, I feel like Slytherin tends to get a bad rap a lot. You know, a lot of people easily, lazily, say that Slytherin is where all, like, the evil wizards come from, or maybe not even say all of them, but has a tendency. Many of the people in Slytherin tend to be, like, the evil parts, and they're, like, the evil house. And I hate that stigma. I think that that's a really, like... It doesn't really do justice to that house. Um, and so I kind of want to try to break stereotypes and prove that you can have a perfectly light aligned, you know, goody two shoes, dare I say, or as goody two shoes as possible. Goody two shoes slither in um, and be totally legitimately, like, totally legitimately be a goody two shoes slither in. Um, one thing about the Harry Potter books, as much as I absolutely love the stories and the plot in Harry Potter, and no, they're not perfect, um, but one thing that really bothered me about what J.K. Rowling did in the Harry Potter books is I absolutely hate, this is the one thing that I totally disagree with, I really hated how in Book seven, apologies for spoilers, but I feel like by now, if you're watching this Let's Play, you've probably read all the books, I presume. But during the final battle, at the Battle of Hogwarts, Professor McGonagall essentially sends all of the Slytherins to the dungeons during the final battle. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, really? I like, you are actually going to paint everyone in Slytherin with the same brush and just determine that none of them are worthy? None of them are decent or worthy enough to participate in the, like, final battle? Like, you actually distrust that house so much that you're just gonna throw every student in basically 25% of the student body, you're just gonna throw them all into the dungeon while everybody else fights for Hogwarts. Like, to me, that felt like a big slap in the face and sort of contradicted a lot of things that Rowling had set up throughout the books because, yes, like, there were some key points in the story, in the Harry Potter story, where it I, I knew Rowling specifically was trying to show that not all Slytherins are bad, you know, that that quite often Slytherin tends to be the house that is misunderstood and that you can definitely for people like J like Malfoy you know even people like Malfoy could be redeemed and that was the other thing that I hated a lot is that Malfoy I thought was being set up for a really amazing and awesome redemption story and then it just kind of didn't go anywhere and I I absolutely also despise what happens to Draco Malfoy by the end because you know, he was a jerk bag, but I feel like he could have had a much better... I feel like the, the, the story would have been way richer if he wasn't... If Rowling gave him more of a three-dimensional ending instead of what he got, you know? So, yeah, just in general, I want to add a positive contribution to Slytherin with this Let's Play, and I do think a lot of my other... Uh, 
Let's Player friends are actually also going the Slytherin route too. Um, Micah Let's Plays, shout outs to Micah, who I love. Uh, I think he actually is a Slytherin in real life. Uh, and, you know, of course wants to play as a Slytherin in this game. But my reasons for playing in Slytherin is a little bit different. It's more about just based on, um, you know, this particular medium in a video game. I want, I've all, every single other Harry Potter video game that I've ever played, I've always been Ravenclaw. Always. And so I kind of want to stir things up. I want to stir the pot a little bit and change things up. Um, there is one small ulterior motive, one small ulterior motive that I have um, about choosing Slytherin as well, which I'm not going to reveal later. I do. I did say that I tried my best to avoid something, or tried to avoid the vast majority of videos that, you know, was promoting Hogwarts Legacy, and I did, but there is one aspect of the game that I am aware of, just one small aspect, um, that also is influencing me into the choice of creating a Slytherin, um, but I'll get to that later. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna choose a different house because, because I am. I like that the game ultimately lets you decide. The Sorting Hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. I actually, Gryffindor house known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. So out of the four houses, don't hate me, out of the four houses, Gryffindor is the one that I, I like the least. I don't dislike Gryffindor, I just personally find Gryffindor overrated. Um, and honestly, between the four, like, main traits or the values that each of the houses have. Gryffindor is daring, bravery, and chivalry. Hufflepuff is known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Ravenclaw for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Slytherin for cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. Which, I wouldn't spin it as hunger for power. I would spin that as, like, leadership. I think cunning, ambition, and leadership is a better way of putting it than, like, a hunger for power. My character does not have hunger for power, but he does value leadership and good leadership qualities. So, but between the four, like, daring, bravery, courage is probably the values that I personally value the least, personally. Not that I, you know, don't value bravery or chivalry. I love chivalry, but like, I definitely value intelligence, creativity, and wit more than bravery. I value patience, loyalty, and hard work over courage. And honestly, cunning and ambition uh, and leadership, I value that more than bravery and daring as well, personally. Um, that's just me. So yeah, Gryffindor, if I was to say, is the house that I least um, associate myself with by a lot uh even though of course i do love harry ron and hermione no offense to them but gryffindor is not my jam um slytherin by far is more my jam than gryffindor uh with me again being like i would say i would put myself at about 75 percent ravenclaw 25 percent hufflepuff so but we're going to do Slytherin. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Leadership. Leadership. Let's do it. I'm locking it in. The sort who makes an entrance. So, I do Slytherin. love the idea Slytherin. that the sorting hat thinks that I belong in Ravenclaw, but ultimately I chose. I chose to be in Slytherin. Even though... Oh, look! Look at those green. Look at that green. Yay! And I am going to be the nicest Slytherin oh, in this school. Or thing. the nicest one. Due to the unfortunate <laughs> injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Boo! I want to play Quidditch. Boo! Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, huh? but don't tempt me. There you better be a DLC with Quidditch. You are on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Let's party, is what... Oh, we're not gonna party. We're all gonna move. Quite an entrance. We're all... It's lovely Ooh. to meet you. I want to party and feast. And Professor Weasley, Hi, Professor. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I can't wait. The common room designs for this game, which I did see. I did see all of the common rooms, but that's also it's one of the best parts about this game. To begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. Mm, In order I'm to excited. enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Oh, I like that. Aspiration. I like that. Thank you. Aspiration. I like this. Aspiration is a great word to put on the Slytherin. Put up as a password for the Slytherin house. I like this. Well done. Thank now, you, Professor. Go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I I'm so excited. To collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope I can I start hope making you enjoy some cool your first friends. Night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I'm curious if there's any friends I will actually make within my house, but we'll see. I want to hope that the peop that the people in Slytherin in the Slytherin house are cool and not all like crab goyle Draco Malfoys. I'm hoping they're not all like that. Oh, I like this. Looks oh, look like at this. Gone. Better head to the common room. This actually is a lot brighter than I thought the Slytherin house would be. This looks actually really comfortable and cushy. I like this design of my room. So my favorite color is orange. Um, and in my family, like if you were to associate a color to different members of the family, it would be orange for me, but green for my husband because green is one of the main colors of his alma mater. And so in our wedding, our color scheme was actually green and orange. It was a very like citrusy, we had our wedding on the 4th of July and it has a very like summer citrusy color scheme. And this shade of green actually is the same shade because green can come of course in many different shades, but it is the same shade as the um, groomsmen outfits. Oh wow, we have apples too. Green apples, red apples, got a snack. I got a snack. Speaking of snack. Is that the common room? Oh, I guess it is. Well, I love all this detail. Yeah, yeah, like they did such a great job designing the common rooms and the houses. This is really, this is really a lot like um, cozier. This is a way cozier than I envisioned Slytherin to be. Because I think when you think Slytherin house, you think it's going to be like cold, dungeon-like. But no, this is actually crazy pleasant. I'm really glad. See, this is one of the reasons why... Oh. I guess I'm going to be a snoop. Oh. I can snoop and lock into other people's... Unlock other people's stuff. Well... So much for being a nice leather. I'm not going to steal their their apples. That's not what I'm going to do. So that's sixth year. Why am I... Why was I in the sixth year? Oh, was I... No, I, was, I came from the fifth year. Fourth year. Okay, okay, okay. So as I go up, does it get third year? Okay, so different years have different, got it. Second year, first year, cool. V 
very cool. I am a big fan of this. Oh yeah, look at all the students. Alright, alright, he's a cutie. I'm just checking to see who are all the cuties in my class. Maybe we can start being friends. Oh look! Paste we get pies too? I mean come on. Come on. That must be Salazar Slytherin. See, definitely And we've got we've got there's for I expected I expected um Hufflepuff's house to have all the food, but I mean we've got Oh my goodness, look at this! I'm just gonna pig out. <laughs> I, I am just gonna pig out. I'm just eating everything. I am such a foodie. Oh my gosh, I am porking out. I, okay, that's enough cake. I am... Is this the prefect's room? I figured maybe that's the prefect's room. I don't know. That looks so fancy. Apples everywhere, cakes and pies and... We definitely like our apples. That reminds me, um, I w I, we had a Japanese exchange student, and we sort of, like, asked them, are these, like, nuts? Goodness gravy, there's so much food! So much food in the Slytherin house! Who would have thought? Uh, one of the questions that we asked her is, what is one stereotype that people in Japan have of Americans? And I was gonna think it was gonna be something like, you know, Americans tend to be very, like, um... Ooh, piano. Arrogant or Americans tend to not eat very healthy and maybe end up being a little bit more overweight than your average. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. Seems that's off limits. We more um than than your average, you know, Japanese person. So I thought that's what they were gonna say. But instead, my Japanese exchange student friend said that one big stereotype is that Americans just walk around eating apples all day. And I was like, that's the stereotype? Eating apples? I guess because of New York being called the Big Apple, and I guess because of apple pie, I guess apple is a very American fruit, and that was... I found out, I, I know, I found it really funny that out of all of the possible stereotypes that I think she could have mentioned, the one that instantly popped into her head was that us Americans, we just walk around eating apples all day. I like, okay. introductions are in order. Introduce yourself to Imelda. Oh, Imelda. Ominous. Sebastian. Already knew that. I don't mind saying that I find it hard to... Sebastian Salo. Oh, Sebastian. Okay. So, this... This guy right here. Sebastian Salo. This was one of the key reasons why I wanted to be in Slytherin House. Because I heard... I did um, end up discovering who some of the main NPC companion characters are going to be. That's and so as soon... I love his voice, too. We've got a Sebastian who voices the main character, and then we also have a NPC character, a companion character named Sebastian. I love this. I always helpful. like the name Sebastian. Wow, his voice is so sexy. I'm going to have to find out who voices Sebastian Salo. This is pretty cool. Anyway, um, instantly, I was drawn to Sebastian Salo as one of the... Um, as as one as the companion I probably will be most interested in getting to know. And it's not just because I think he's a cutie pie, which he is. It's not just because of that. Um, <laughs> but he's a Slytherin. And again, without really looking super deeply into spoiler territory at all, um, the very basic, super high level description that I oh, had I read that. about each of the companion characters when I read about the high level Sebastian stuff I was like I think I'm gonna like this guy I hope I will like this guy I hope so if I'm gonna be introduce myself to anyone helpful. the very first person I have to like get to know first is gonna be Sebastian hands down can I help hey cutie you? oh 
You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Salo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> And for the record, for the record, this is me channeling my inner 15-year-old self to roleplay. I'm roleplaying a 15-year-old character, y'all. Okay, I'm roleplaying a 15-year-old character, so nobody get freaked out. <laughs> okay, I am fully aware at the awkward age-appropriateness of things. I'm roleplaying as a student at Hogwarts. Come on, okay? Um... So don't get don't wear, don't get crazy weird on me. Um, glad you'd figure all right. I'm not that brave. I'm very much not a Gryffindor. It was terrifying. And plus, if I'm gonna meet somebody like Sebastian Salo and I want to be able to become good friends with them, I my in real life strategy is to show that I'm not afraid to be vulnerable. I'm not afraid to be an open book to them and just tell them how I really feel. Like if I'm scared, I'm scared. And I'm not going to, like, pretend to, you know... I want to be, like, real with them. So I'm just going to be real. It was Professor terrifying. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. I will hold you to it. I will hold you to that. But I'm also curious. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but... Not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. What do you mean, Seb? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Love me, Sebastian. Love me. Love me. Um, okay. Speaking of astronomy, I'm surprised you're not fixated on Venus. The amount of time you spent talking about a meteor car. Everyone seems to fear Professor Sharp. Not many. Professor Sharp. I only bumped me twice this week, but since you arrived. If I had to pick a favorite professor, I'd choose garlic. Underneath that garlic persona lies a brilliant herbological mind. You should hear Sharp. I like garlic. It's a wonder own ideas don't catch a light. What's to say stars know more than cards, I say? I just love this. No, no, I cannot eat. I'm such a porker. I cannot eat. I don't know why I have my wand out. This looks, it's almost like, it seems very irresponsible of me to just walk around with my wand out already. What are you trying to prove? What are you trying to prove, Angel? If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Imelda Rays. Ominous. 